Hi guys, I would like to thank uh, Good Brothers Run Together for sponsoring this video. Today's video is going to be about a very special book, um, a book called Together is Better, How to Trick Your Family into Supporting Your Business and Have Them Love You for It. I've been super inspired by this book to actually keep on basically bring this uh, business idea that I always had in mind into life. So if you know me, I've been always talking about modest fashion, talking about starting a business, having a closing store, but most importantly, a modest uh, closing store. I'm a hijabi. Um, so being modest is part of my culture, it's part of my religion, and it's part of it's just me. I love being modest. I always get compliments about my outfit and stuff like that. So I thought, why not, you know, start a clothing store and help people who want to be modest. It doesn't all. It doesn't have to be for only Muslim women. For any woman um, who would like to be modest, live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. So there's not a lot of um, store um, that have only modest clothing. So I thought, why not bring that to life? You know, so the book has been so so helpful so every time i talk about you know um starting a business it's kind of very scary and it's supposed to be a very scary thing i think because i'm um, starting a business it's not really easy so starting a business could, could be very scary but having a good support system and having people that actually believe in you and want to see you su succeed help you you know that would help a lot because if you surround yourself with a lot of negative people people who suck down your energy and and always have some negative things to say like for instance if you know um the other day i was like yeah i would love to start a a, a closing store and then people are like well there's a bunch of women who falls like that kind of um um you know surrounding yourself with those kind of people can actually you know um will not help you. It would suck down your energy. It would have you doubt yourself. It will make you really depressed and, and, and drive you crazy. You know the saying of stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. So I live by that every day. Like I'm ready for all of it. So I'm ready to start this business. That's why I want you guys to really, really, really read this book. Um, as you can see, I have stickers in this book because there were certain um, a part that really got me and in this book the author is very raw like he talks about um i think in, in some one of the chapters he talked about his um his struggle with depression and, and, and anxiety and um that's something that i also struggle with until this day till this very moment i struggle with a lot of social anxiety a lot of depression and that's what i'm actually my worst enemy because i put myself in the situation where i'm always depressed and always stressed out it really does slow me down and gives me no energy i can't think straight you know and it's so inspiring to hear someone um that that looks like you who is going through the same or almost same situation as you and and made it you know like wrote a book about how to start a business so i have uh, stickers in the book because there's some part that i really 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 liked and I was like, oh, I need to share this with a few people. Um, so in chapter two, um, way in the bottom, he, um, Eddie talked about um, learning how to love yourself, right? And that's something that I struggle with, that I used to struggle with a lot, is learning how to just love Nadipa for, for who she is, right? So um, it says that learning to love the person you are and the community you are from is important. That is the realest thing I've ever heard. And, and, and it's, I can't stress that enough. You gotta love yourself and love your community. For I love the, the community of Sioux Falls. I love myself. And I had to literally learn how to do that. Um, you know, but that I think will help me a lot into starting this business. Because if I don't love the community of Sioux Falls, if I don't trust the community, if I don't love myself, no one is going to be interested in loving this business that I have. This No one is going to want to come to my closing store and shop. It's going to be even hard for me to get up and, and get things done. You know, so love your surrounding, love people, love yourself. Um, in chapter five, he talks about the culture and family and whatnot. So he says that um, we all love our family, but we are sometimes not a fan of <laughs> of the drama that comes along with it. You know, so starting a business with your family, like, could be the hardest thing ever. We all have family issues that we're dealing with. But, um, you know, 
if you have like right now i feel like i can start a business with my younger sister and my little brother because um we understand each other so much and as much as we're part of this family drama we we can put that aside and work together so you kind of got to pick a family member you got to pick certain people in your family that you kind of want to work with and i heard the other people like why didn't you include me it's business fam it's business so if you don't get your life together if you don't get that drama at the way we can't work together and it's just that simple um so <laughs> when i read that i was dying i'm like yeah i'm definitely not a big fan of the family drama um i'm not a fan of drama period drama make me sick and it, yeah so no and even friends i wanted to start a business with friends and i'm like wait fam so i had to find out some of these friends be like they be snakes out here bro some of these friends they was made in china straight up fam um <laughs> but um but yeah okay so the last thing i'm gonna talk i'm gonna mention from this book is um he also brings out a lot of like statistic um it says here that more than 80 80 percent report being happier than they were when they had a job so i can't wait to be part of that 80 percent i'm sick of my job i I'm just sick of it. Let me not say much before I get fired. Uh, well, and then it says that 88 believe that their future is brighter. Well, I can't wait to be part of that bright future. Um, and then 74% eat healthier. 50% uh, wear whatever they want to work, including pajamas. I can't wait to wake up in the like in the morning, wear pajamas to work because it's my business, because I own it, and because I'm the boss, and because I could do whatever I want because I'm the boss. So, to conclude this video, give it a shot. This book is very short. I mean, if you know me, you know I don't like reading. It's not one of my hobbies at all. I don't like reading. I read this book in less than an hour that's how fast this thing was like ding 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 it like it literally just made perfect sense and it went straight to the point a lot of times when people are starting a business or want to start a business you know people will hand you this big book that is like fifty thousand pages like fam like before i finish reading this book i'm gonna have gray hair you know so this book goes straight to the point it tells you and like i said eddie is so raw like he talks about the truth and nothing but the truth i love reading books from people that look like me sound like me and all that um because i can relate i can relate and it hit close to home and i'm like yep that's you understand it fam you get it fam the struggles we're out here and we're trying to make moves in 2019 to get this bag so i will suggest that you guys do the same this is only five dollars bro five dollars five five dollars this is five dollars on amazon.com i will put the link down below make sure you go check it out don't forget to subscribe yeah so i wish you guys love peace and happiness and i see you next time